Hi there, this is Lawrence with Excello, and in this quick video, we're just going to run through how to create a company or client in your Excello deployment. So there's a couple of ways to do this. The more obvious way is by going up into the Create drop-down here on your toolbar in your deployment. And as you can see, if we take a look, we have the Company option here. Another way to do this is by simply going over to the left side of your screen and clicking on the Companies module. Clicking that will actually bring you to the List Companies page, and when we're here, we want to add a new company, so we can just click the Add a Company button. Clicking the Add a Company button will actually take us to the Add a Company screen. So let's say we want to add this company as Acme Corporation. So we put in the name of the company up here in this field at the top. And now we're going to input some really key company details. So first, we want to look at the status. So is this a lead for a company? Is this an active company? Or are they just maybe a vendor or a partner? In this case, we'll call them an active company. If they have a specific website that you want to put in here as well, you can add the URL. And then if you want to include a division, maybe a support division or government or testing, you can also do that here. Clicking the more option will give you the opportunity to add any comments as well as any tags that you want to put associated with this company. Going down, we'll see the categories section. Here we can actually select the industry uh, that this particular company is actually associated with. So let's say uh, we want to make this a professional service industry. And as you can see, we can actually add more than one. So let's say they are a retail and professional service company. We can add both of those here. If you have any custom fields, then you can actually add them and, and utilize them here. These are actually set up via your configuration page. Next big thing we want to do when we're adding a company is add specific contacts for this company. Uh, so let's say that we want to add... Uh, a contact name John Smith and as far as the title goes we'll just say mister if we had an email address we could put that here maybe a phone number as well and if they have a cell number you can also put that there and then as far as the position goes we'll just call him a manager. Down here, you can also select a gender if you'd like, assuming whatever categories you have set up. In this case, I'll just say male. By clicking on the more option, you're also able to actually set up comments as well. Now, after you have your contact actually set up in here, make sure to click the add button. That will add John Smith as a contact for this particular company, in this case, Acme Corp. If you want to add a new contact, you can just simply hit the Add New button. And if you want to actually link an existing contact, you can do that here as well. Next thing, if we go over to the Address section, uh, we can actually add addresses for this particular company. And if we click Add New Address, you can see this is actually a Google search. So it makes it super convenient and super easy to actually add an address. If I want to set up any account managers with this particular company, in this case, let's say I want to make Larry B an account manager, I can do that via this field here. And then finally, if I have any privacy settings, so if I uh, have any confidential relationships in terms of, you know, certain individuals in this company should be seeing other pieces of information from other certain individuals, I can set them up via my privacy here. Once everything on this screen is looking the way that I want it to look, I can just simply hit Create Company. Hitting the Create Company screen will just bring us right into our View Company screen, where you'll be able to get a solid overview of everything you need to know about this company, as well as you know your contacts and company details. So hopefully this video helps, and if you have any further questions, be sure to email us at support at